Hello, I'm Christina from The Turned Leg. I love to salvage, repurpose, and create and help others to do the same. I also love junk. And last year I decided to do something special just for me. And that was to incorporate what I love, junk, into my garden. So I created a junk garden. And to see all of the projects I did, you can click on the link to the playlist above. This year, the junk garden continues. And I really have a new way of looking at things because now when I see something, even if it's too far gone for me to save, I'm like, hmm, could I put that in my junk garden? For my project this year, I'm going to be tackling my side yard and you're gonna see it really needs a makeover. The easiest way to add a junk garden is to create some upcycled planters. And I'm gonna give you a few ideas of a few planters that I created and hopefully it'll inspire you to start thinking at things in a whole different light and wondering, hmm, can you add them to your junk garden? Let's get started with this project. Sometimes you need a little encouragement to get a project started. I was called to one of my friend's houses. She said, I'm cleaning out my barn and I have a whole bunch of stuff. Do you want it? So of course I jumped at the opportunity. My daughter and I hopped in my van and headed to her barn where she had so many great treasures for me. The friend that gave me all of these goodies is also a dealer at Plaza Antiques and Collectibles Mall and a fellow YouTuber. Her channel is Junking with Lou. I will put all of her information in the description box below and I hope you will check her out. One of the treasures she had for me was this old radio flyer. Although it was quite rusted and no longer good for children, I had the best idea on how to repurpose it. What a great haul. We loaded everything up and headed for home. Are you enjoying this video? If so, take a second, click the like button and subscribe. Also, if you click the bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a new video. It really helps me to continue to grow my channel to help others to salvage, repurpose, and create. This is a side yard that's gonna get a transformation. And as you can tell, it really needed it. My neighbor has had an issue with this ground cover that's been attacking everything on her side and there really hasn't been any fancy landscaping except for the flamingos that we kind of love but they're going to get relocated along with these tulips and then we are going to start with a whole new garden i also should mention that my neighbor's fence is not very sturdy i know there are fence poles on my side still installed if I remove those, I'm afraid I might knock down my neighbor's fence, so we're not touching that. I also cannot put anything against her fence or it may come down. So I'm going to try to do this whole junk garden without touching my neighbor's fence or removing those poles. The first step is to clear the area and actually I'm trying to do this the easiest way possible. So I'm going to use my weed whacker to cut down the taller ground cover. Don't feel bad for this ground cover. It is a snow on the mountain and extremely invasive, and I'm sure it's actually gonna be coming back over time. So I am not destroying something that is precious. Um, use your weed whacker, cut down as much as you can. The next step is to add cardboard. I'm using cardboard boxes. This will kill all of the ground cover in those areas. And for right now, I just put bricks on them so the cardboard wouldn't blow away. I will be putting mulch over the top. Next, I turned my attention to making my first upcycled planter, and that was using this radio flyer wagon. What a perfect project for this piece. The wagon is too far gone with rust to be used, and it is not sturdy anymore, but it is sturdy enough for a planter. The first step is to clean it really well. I let the wagon dry and turned my attention to adding the mulch in the area. You can put mulch right over the cardboard and that way the cardboard will break down over time and you won't have any weeds.
Now that the wheelbarrow was dry, it was time to drill some drainage holes. I'm using my DeWalt drill for this project and drill bit. For more information on the tools that I'm using, you can check out my Amazon storefront affiliated links in the description box below. Now to plant the wagon. First I added potting soil and a few rocks from my garden. For planting this year, I decided to visit my local garden center and check out the clearance area. I found a whole bunch of annuals on clearance for only a dollar a pack just because they were a little dried out. With a little extra water, I think these will turn out nicely. Now it's time for the next upcycled planters. When I saw these adorable rubber boots at the thrift store, I knew they would make great planters. First, I removed the insoles that were in one set. I used my drill bit to put holes in the bottom. Next, I moved one of my old garden chairs into position to hold these new planters. Old chairs that are too far gone for repair and paint are great for planters and holding stuff in your gardens. I added soil and plants to the rubber boots. What do you think? I think they'd be really cute if you could find a whole rainbow of colors. In my last video, I cleaned out my garage, and when you get known for having a junk garden, people start giving you junk for your junk garden. So all of these items, I want to try to incorporate as many as possible into my junk garden. If you want to watch my garage clean out video, click on the link above. One of the items that I was given was a front to an old stove. I was also given this, which is an old hose reel. So the next step is to start placing things in the garden the way I want. The old hand pump here I actually purchased. I was hoping to put it on my planting stand, but there just wasn't space. I really enjoy its new location. I put it on a cinder block for height. Once I had everything in place, it was time to water. I did add a few more planters just to add a little bit more color into the space. The rest of my garden was also putting on a show. This project was a lot easier than I thought it would be, and the impact, I think, is huge. Let's take a look at how it turned out. I only put annuals in this space for now. I'm trying to get rid of that invasive ground cover. In the future, I hope to add more plants to this garden, and I also left quite a few spaces to add a little bit more junk into the garden. I love how this project turned out. What do you think? Are there any things that you're thinking about that you could upcycle into a planner? Why don't you comment down below and share with everybody else? I hope this project has inspired you now to start your own junk garden. Get out there now to salvage, repurpose, and create. Thanks for watching.